hang around to the end of the video to see this massive Big Bad Toy Store haul. As you saw in the thumbnail, it's epic. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. What's up guys welcome back to man cave collectible reviews coming at you today with a quick toy hunt we are at a target over here in charlotte north carolina I head to the chiropractor to get my back worked on and said let's swing in target we'll just hit a really quick toy hunt and then maybe when we get back to the man cave we can look at a couple things that's come in uh, so hang around for that if you enjoy kind of seeing a little bit of a toy haul uh, but yeah we're not going to do a lot of chit chat we're just going to get inside and see what they got on the shelves All right, guys we're going to start off in the all the legend section here got some spider shot and the last stand spider-man up there got some infinity saga iron man and captain america the x-men 97 five pack there got a new avengers it's a five poa i don't know how it says that is their actual size, so they're the bigger than like those over there. Some more of the X Men '97 four-inch figures. Got some mud junkyard there. Batman and Bane. Oh, here's some new. Uh, here's some new GI Joe classified. Ooh, those are these are kind of cool looking right here. Got the uh, Ghostbuster Fright figures, more classified up here. There's the GI Joe Ecto One. Got some Transformer stuff over here. There's the new blaster from the movie. Looking good. Optimus Prime, Earth Spark Optimus Prime down here with his trailer. It's always cool when you get the trailer included. Got some new Jurassic World figures, or at least new to me. Yeah. Some, uh, there's some. There's one I need. The Metrodon. I really like him. I need him for my Jurassic Park. Ooh, that's nice. They really like that. Woody there. And another Brontosaurus style. Got some of the movie turtles. Well, just one of them looks like Mikey. Ooh, that's cool right there. That Ram Man looks awesome. Oh, that's cool looking. Really like that. Some Ahsoka up here. Star Wars. Here's a new Vader from A New Hope. Oh, that's cool. I don't know if we've. I didn't even know if they were coming out or releasing that. Oh, there's the uh, kind of Menace 5 POA pack. Now that's really cool. That's super cool right there. Retro collection. Iron Sheik looking good there. Fish. A little throwback to Hogan. And we over here on the uh, got some new Animal Planet dinosaurs. That's kind of cool. Big pack. I remember when I was a kid, I loved stuff like that. I was big on dinosaurs when I was a kid. Some Sonic. Diddy. It's pretty cool there. It's a Diddy Kong or Donkey Kong. All right, guys, we're going to head up the NECA section over here. It's cool seeing those G.I. Joes over there. That was really neat. There's a new Assassin's Creed. Some gargoyles. Elvira. Might be one I haven't seen yet. Whole bunch of the Mirage. That's 
score right there. That would be cool to get signed, actually. Oh, that's cool. Replica. The uh, transmitter. That's really neat. And Batgirl, too. That's very cool. I'm come on down. Got a whole bunch of horror gargoyles kind of lined up across here. Got the uh, Steel Clan up there. There's the last Ronin still hanging around. D and D down there. Let's see here. Yeah, that's a good looking figure. I'm not a Dungeons and Dragons guy, but that's a that's a cool figure. Maybe got some uh, Colossus of the Swamps hanging out down here. Oh, there's the new. That's a new Batman animated series. Batman. With the uh, lock up build a figure. The only one from the lockup wave, I think. The rest of those are that's pretty cool. That's a new one. All right, guys. So as the thumbnail said, we got a massive BBTS box right here for you for the haul portion of this video. If you stuck around, thanks for hanging around. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button if you're not if you hadn't already done it or if you're not already subscribed to the channel. Uh, but yeah, really, really cool stuff in this box. You're gonna want to see what we got in here. One of the better hauls I've had in a while, actually. I'm excited, really excited about a lot of the items in this box. Let's get going. So let's just start off with the two things right on the top uh, as I open the box. It is two X-Men 97 figures. It is the Jean Grey, it is the Cyclops. So I've got the Cyclops from the, uh, what is it? The Love Triangle three pack uh, with the jacket. And I knew they were gonna reissue this guy at some point. I didn't wanna pay the prices for the previous Cyclops of this version. And I, honestly, I, I love this version. I think it looks fantastic. They did a great job. This Jean Grey also, I think, is an upgrade from the last one that they did that was in that same three-pack uh, for the Cyclops that I have. There's a couple figures here on the back that I would like to pick up, Nightcrawler being one of those, and then maybe the Goblin Queen. I think that would be uh, a cool pickup as well. Believe it or not, guys, I have still not started X-Men 97. Every time I sit down to watch it, I have started it five times I feel like and every time something has come up something work related something kid related continues to stop me from being able to watch X-Men 97 so let me know down in the comments below what do you think of X-Men 97 have you watched it up to this point where are you at in the season what do you think of the figures are you picking them up let's move on as you guys know I'm a big Mafex collector Mafex the uh endoskeleton from Terminator 2 gotta have this guy i've got all the terminator figures that they've made so far so this was really cool right here i kind of thought about army building these buying a couple of them but then i'm like yeah a hundred dollars a pop you know building a hundred dollars a pop so we got one but it looks really really nice i'm excited to get this guy to the packaging and, uh, and mess around with him this was a big one for me i'll tell you a quick story about this one about four or five months ago, right around the time they announced that they were going to reissue the Robocop, Robocop 2 and 3 Mafex figures, I went on eBay and I wanted this figure really bad. So I went on eBay, bought it. It's like 250 bucks for him. And two days after I bought him on eBay, they announced they were going to reissue him. Could have, could have just waited two days and got him at retail from BBTS. Now, lucky for me, the eBay guy that I bought him from didn't ship him. So like seven days passed, he never shipped him. So I'm like, I hit the guy up. I'm like, hey man, what's going on with the shipping? You've never shipped my figure. He's like, man, I promise I will get it out. I'm like, hey, it's already been seven days. I just want to cancel the order. Knowing in the back of my mind, this was sitting out on BBTS at retail for pre-order. So I went and got it, pre-ordered. The guy was nice enough. He canceled my order. I mean, you wait seven days and you still ain't shipped. That don't seem good anyways. That don't seem right anyways. So... I had no problem. I wasn't going to ask him to cancel it. I had bought it. I was going to pay the $100, uh, you know, premium on it because it, you know, once to me, once you buy something on eBay, you've committed to it. I don't think you should ever really cancel an order unless it's something broken or whatever when you get it. But, you know, you go seven days and don't ship it. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to try to probably go a, an alternate path. So anyways, so that was a really cool pickup. Next up, we got the Mafex Hush Poison Ivy. Love this one. Really needed a, I don't have a Poison Ivy anywhere in my collection, so it was cool to finally get a Poison Ivy and from, you know, one of my top three favorite companies. The, all the Mafex figures that they're doing in the Hush line are really fantastic. 
I think we got a Scarecrow coming that looks pretty cool, a Riddler coming that looks pretty cool, so excited about those. Let's move over to some more Marvel Legends. I guess I should have put this with the other Marvel Legends, but we got, so they're doing this like, what is this, 50 years of Wolverine or 50th anniversary, some, something like that. Uh, but we got the Lyndra and the Wolverine with uh, the brood parasite, uh, you know, on him, in him, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but this one's really cool. I really wanted her more than anything. You know, I don't really care for all the different Wolverine variants. I, I kind of like just having one good Wolverine. But, you know, it was a famous cover uh, that was done, uh, you know, that he's on the front of that. It looked pretty cool. They, they did a great job uh, of creating uh, kind of that exact same character. I think there's the cover there. But, yeah, this was cool. So, so I got the Wolverine Sabretooth one, I think, will be the next one that I've pre-ordered in that Wolverine uh, two-pack. 50 years thing they're doing but yeah i mean looking at this brood wolverine i mean it it does look pretty cool i gotta give it uh give it its credit where it's due so i'm a big mezco fan as well i'm doing the mezco gi joe stuff got the destro over there got uh so snake eyes i don't know if roadblock was the next one or snake eyes i don't know which one came out in what order i still got to get the roadblock i i have not gotten him yet he seems to be sold out at bbts and i don't even think entertainment earth has got him but I uh, was really excited to have this one. This is kind of the line that I'm going to do my G.I. Joe's in, is the Mezco stuff, even though I know Classifieds is killing it. You know, when I saw the new Beachhead that they, you know, are coming out with, it just uh, I'm, almost draws me back. But I'm kind of committed to Mezco. I've got a ton of Mezco figures up there. So, you know, we're going we're gonna to stick with this and get my Joe's through uh, Mezco. But, yeah, Snake Eyes looking really cool. Got, uh, got Timber down there. So, yeah, it's... Uh, it's looking good. Now this one, I'll post some pictures on my Instagram for, and you know, I know it is super, super glary, uh, but this is a four pack PVC statue set by PCS. Uh, that's premium collectible studio. Um, it's all four turtles here. They're about five inches tall. It is a full scale diorama, not a full, it's, it's a, not a full scale diorama. That's bad terminology in the statue world. It is a diorama piece. I don't know what this would be considered, probably like one, I can't even say one twelfth scale, probably one fourteenth scale, one thirteenth scale, because they're, they're pretty small. I would say they're more like five inches. Um, if I had to guess, I would say they're kind of comparable to like the old Playmates toys size uh, for this statue, but it looks really good. And it's solely based on, you know, based on their cartoon looks. And that's where my heart is. I love, you cannot beat the original cartoon look of these guys. So head over to my Instagram. You'll see some pictures in the coming days of this diorama, uh, this you know this piece kind of all set up the way it's intended to be. This one's a big one, guys. This one is one I have been waiting for a year on. Um, it is what I think, based on the reviews I've seen, and there's been many guys do some really good reviews, some really fantastic reviews on this set of figures. This is the Mezco Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4-Pack. So this is a big one. It's a big investment. I know that was an issue, but now you go look out at eBay and you know, this thing is going for an insane amount of money. I think the last one I saw was like nine, 950 bucks for the four pack. Uh, but just so many, I mean, look at all the accessories, the turtles, all the head options. I mean, this thing is going to be amazing. This is going to be hours of playing and messing and trying to determine how to pose and you know, what combination of, you know, clothing or heads or weaponry, or this is going to, this is going to be a, I'm going to get a lot of joy out of this. So I'm hoping that this is kind of the end all be all, uh, to my Ninja Turtles collection. Honestly, um, you know, I, if this is as good as I'm thinking it is, and as good as I'm hoping that it is, I don't know that I'll ever need to buy another set of four Ninja Turtles. Maybe. Well, we'll see. I'm not going to commit to that. Don't hold me to that. Um, but th this this may put me right where I want to be. Between this and the SH Figuarts Cartoon Turtles. I don't know if you guys remember those. The die cast. I mean, they are beautiful. They're up there on the shelf. Between these and those, and then the original NECA Mirage Turtles. The original ones. The ones that are really hard to get. I've got those up there as well. Those three should encompass everything I need in a set of four turtles. So we'll see. I, I may even whittle my collection down to that. I don't know. I, the Super 7 stuff I am loving, but 
it's kind of getting to a point there where I'm just kind of like, I got what I want. I got most of the characters I want there. So yeah, we'll, we'll see. Let me know what you think of this. Did any of you guys splurge and grab this four pack? Let me know. I'm, I'm super, super excited. This may be the most excited I've been about something coming from BBTS in a year or two, really. I mean, it's I'm that excited about this. So yeah, there we go. So guys, that's the haul. That's the toy hunt. I, that was, to me, that was an epic toy haul. That was a, there was a lot of cool stuff that come in that BBTS uh, shipment. So excited. And there's a lot of cool stuff still to come. I, I, uh, the other day, I don't know if you guys saw, um, the pit figure, uh, that went up. It's a third party. It's not called pit. If you look on the community page here on the YouTube channel, you'll see it very reminiscent of the old pit build a figure, which is a lot of folks grail. I've actually got one over there when I picked it up. It was a grail at that time. I loved it. It's still one of my favorite figures. It'll never leave, but there's one of those out on BBTS. So go check the links on my community page. You'll see it. It's very cool. Um, so we got a lot of cool stuff that'll be coming over the course of 2024. It's crazy. We were saying we're in 2024. In fact, we're four months in at this point. So, uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed just this quick little hunt video slash haul video. It was really probably, probably more of a haul video than a hunt video, but just good to get a little bit of content out there. I hope all of you guys are doing really well. Uh, I miss doing kind of the weekly content, but things have just been so busy, uh, with the kids and sports and all that kind of stuff. I'm just trying to fit it in where I can. And, uh, you know, the collecting hobby kind of takes a backseat from time to time, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know and understand. But uh, that's it for today. That's it for this week. I hope you guys have a good rest of your week. Until next time.